Hello and welcome at FUVE. I feel like a bit of reading, so I just grabbed a book. <laughs> Laboratory experiments with the X-ray. Brilliant. Nah, uh, physics? Don't feel like it today. Biology? Nah, I did it yesterday. Medicine I might do tomorrow, engineering geology uh, maybe next week, but chemistry, I feel like chemistry, and most of all like doing a Nobel Prize today. Let's have a look at what we've got. Nah, not this one, not this one. I'm sorry, I'm gonna need the book because it's helping me to go step by step through the experiments. And me being a linguist, um, I need the help. Like many of your students, I guess. Oh, here we are. The Lauer method. I love this one. Crystal structures. Let's give it a try. I did it a few weeks back, so maybe I won't need it, but if ever I'm gonna leave it here where I can grab it. Perfect. So what we're gonna need? We're gonna need the X-ray from FUVE. That's the X-ray 4.0 unit which is compliant to any possible regulations you're going to have. Anywhere you are placed around this device, you are going to def detect less than one microsievert at a distance from one centimeter. It is so low, in most of our Germany's parts, you have more of natural radiation. Lovely. Okay, so what we got? We got a slot in here where I can place different cathodes which are here, a couple of it. Iron, which I don't hear, copper, wolfram, and molybdenum. I'm gonna need molybdenum now, because I need just the right strength of, uh, of rays to have the perfect image. So, I just put it in the slot I spoke of. In it is. Here I am. Next step is, naturally, put on the device. You should check it's plugged. Here we are. The baby's running. You see it's going to start right here to show that it's actually working. Beautiful display. Better than my TV at home. And now I need to open it, but it's locked. So actually what we did is a secure locking, which is working like some of these pencils, you know, where you have to click in before opening. That's just the same. To you, away from you. It's open. So what we got is, right here, a hole from which our x-rays are going to be emitting. But my hole is rather big and doing lots of x-rays. And I just want a tiny bit of it to hit my crystal. So I'm going to take a diaphragm with an opening of only one millimeter. I'm just going to place it in my hole. Next thing I need is a support. Lower support and naturally a crystal. Next, we obviously need a surface to record the image we are going to do through a longer exposition time. For that, you just take one of these diapositives, which are the medicals use when checking your teeth, and a screen, because, uh, well, obviously, it's not going to hold by itself. So I'm just going to take my screen out. Here it is. It's just a plastic screen, so no risk of breaking anything. And I'll be taping my strip to it just to hold it. And just place it back in. Okay, so all I've got to do you now is check all my settings. I can access them all through the display here and the touchpad around here. You will recognize it's starting working because we've got a diode here and a second radiation signal right here. Plus, you see it working in the window. So all I've got to do is uh, talk to my students, explain them a couple of things for seven, seven and a half minutes, and then I'll be done. That means I'm going to do the Lauer pattern, the Nobel Prize of Mr. Lauer, in just 10 minutes. And I'm pretty certain that in 1914, he took a bit longer We'll have a look at our image in a couple of seconds. Here we are. The image is done, the film developed. If you hold it against the light, you will see the different patterns of my lift crystal. All you need to develop it is water. You don't need any dark room or anything else, just water. 
Simples! I hope you had fun. I hope you will toy around, discover other Nobel Prize experiments yourself. And we'll see you next time. Cheers and bye-bye!